Greetings! Nick Tuttle here at Misty Music Studio and today we are going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to casually walk you through the processes of how I enjoy playing with and using my modular synthesizer system in kind of an unrehearsed way so I'll probably just be going slow and cutting. So I don't have an output module. I don't really see the point unless you really want to like use headphones uh, I just run mine out to a mixer this is uh, my Instro Scion it connects to uh, plants or whatever anything that emits biofeedback which is to say uh, teeny tiny electrical pulses or big ones I am just gonna hook the EKG pad up to my arms right now because uh, as much as I love, I do have a plant that I love jamming with, it just won't fit in the shot here. And I want you to have a nice view of my synthesizer, so here's my EKG pads. I'm just clipping these guys on here. Look at me, I feel like a medical experiment. I'm doing science on myself. Alright. Oh, and look, it's receiving a ton of signal because I put out a lot more electricity than a plant does. Let's turn that receive pretty low. Cool, so that's our first patch point is the Scion uh, is receiving signal from me. The lights are showing how much activity, red is a lot, blue is a little. So we've got voltage going in, right? And it will take our, our little pulses and turn them into control voltage. So I'm going to send the, the control voltage to a pitch quantizer and also I think I'm going to send the gate to an envelope you see what we're doing here alright and then I'm going to send the CV to the pitch of my first oscillator like so, right? And I need to send, let's see, the envelope to the input of a VCA, which is a voltage controlled amplifier. The envelope will tell it to open and close. You guys know the deal. We're using modular stuff. So this stuff is going to tell the signal to open and close. Then we need the output of our oscillator, I believe, to the input of the VCA. Alright, and then it's going to go into the input of the mixer. The mixer is normal to the filter, so I don't have to patch that. It's just internally routed that way already. Um, and then it's going into a dynamic section. We're kind of skipping this ADSR. We're using this one just because there's more and it's closer. We can use these for other things later. Anyway, main out into the left and this is my effects section. I have a granular uh, multi-delay network and a reverb. <coughs> okay, so that's just kind of our output. We should you're hearing some sort of signal now. Oh, look at that. Cool, and that's coming from my arm. Sending voltage to this thing, which converts bio voltage to control voltage. Going to a pitch quantizer and an envelope Wow, my effects were doing all that, huh? That's funny This is the Qubit Aurora It's really awesome It's a really cool reverb
This is the Cubit Nautilus. Also pretty awesome. Multi-delay network with octave stuff and other cool fun goodness. And that's my plant patch. So when I want to play with a plant, this is kind of the patch. I just duplicate it three more times because the instro can take this voltage and divide it up into three separate signals that I can use, or sorry, four separate signals, three more signals that I can use. So why don't we just go ahead and patch that up so you can see kind of what it's all about. And we'll just keep feeding it with my arm. And so now is my favorite part. Now that we've been on for a minute, I get to tune the oscillators. It's very important to tune the oscillators because if your oscillators are not in tune, it will suck. So I just go straight from the output of the oscillator. I don't know if you can see. I just tune each one to C because the quantizer is based on C. It doesn't really matter though, I could just tune it to anything. Maybe I should increase that a little. There it is. You know what would be pretty funny? If we sent an LFO to the morph of the vocal,
really like the filter on the Taiga. It's perfect for this sort of thing. Now. Let's play with the Cumulus, which is a bit of a Clouds clone. It's granular. It likes LFOs. Let's give it one. I like to send an LFO to the grain size. That's always fun. signal. So this one's pretty neat on its own. Let's bring that reverb back in. So it's a little busy. All these effects really smear things. We don't need so much going on on the input. We'll turn the activity back down. Oops.
Yeah, so that's my main patch for my uh, plant jams, and I do, you know, move knobs and change settings while it goes. Uh, a couple of modules you saw me probably specifically ignore and not use was two of them. This is a ribbon controller module, so if I wanted to play this, uh, these oscillator voices or this machine with a slidey, glidey left and right ribbon. I can just slide my finger on that and send it through here to quantize the pitches or not to just play it free uh, like a fretless instrument. And then of course there's this, the currents, um, which I believe is the After Later Audio's clone of the uh, Tides. The currents is a multi-function unit so if I just need one more thing, one more oscillator, one more LFO, uh, one more envelope generator. It's that. Um, also, it has a really cool ability to uh, shift. And it, yeah, it can shift through the outputs and that can be modulated with an LFO, uh, which I will just very quickly demonstrate. You'll see the lights moving as I send an LFO to it. So, we can use this one. You can see it sweeping back and forth. So I could be just sending things, I guess. You know, you could use that to create motion. That's this. I don't really uh, use it a lot yet, but it's just one of those things that I figured would be good to have since I had extra space. If I just need one more thing, it can be that thing. Or if I want to use some cool sort of shifty, glidey modulation, I can do that. Um, so, if any, yeah, I guess. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If anybody has any recommendations on patches I might try with the currents, uh, which is the Tides clone, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I do believe uh, I'll, the next time you see this will be uh, jamming with mushrooms. <laughs> Once again, this has been Nick Tuttle at Misty Music Studio, hoping you have an excellent rest of your day.